Hi friends. So here in this video, we are gonna solve a problem based on functional dependence. Now here, u, v, and w are given in terms of x, y, and z, and you have to prove that u, v, w are not independent. So let me tell you, friends, this line that is not independent. This is the line where student makes the mistake. Now we have learned a concept of functional dependence and they are asking yet that you have to prove u, v, w are not independent. Now not independent is nothing but dependent. So here we want to prove that u, v, w are dependent and then we will find the relation between them. So let's start. So if we want to find that u, v, w are functionally dependent, then we have to prove one condition that is u, v, w by do of x, y, z is equal to zero. Now to prove that condition, I'll find the Jacobian of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z. So let's start. It is nothing but the determinant of nine elements that is Now let's find out the value of each and every element. So we'll get the value of first element by partially differentiating u with respect to x. So we'll get here the value as 1. Next the second value we'll get it as again 1. Third one is again 1 and we'll get fast forward. So now we got the values of all elements. Now let's solve the determinant. Now before solving it, we'll try to minimize it so that the solution will become very easy. So to minimize this, I'll try to bring. So to start with the minimization process, I will take this two from the second row and this three from the third row common and I'll take it outside. So here we'll get 6 outside and inside bracket we will get 1 1 1 x y z and here we'll get x square minus y z y square minus z x and z square minus x y now to minimize this we will try to bring 0 at these two positions so that the solution of this determinant will be very easy and to make 0 over here I'll use the column operation. So to bring 0 at these two positions I will use the column operations and hence I will use the operation as C3 minus C2. So by doing this I'll get 0 over here. Similarly, to get 0 here, over here, I'll do C2 minus C1. So by doing this, we, are, we will get answer as 6 into determinant of 1x x square minus yz will remain as it is. The second row, second column will become. Now we got 0 at this position. We will further try to minimize these two terms also. So to minimize this term, I will consider y square minus x square as y plus x and y minus x. And from this remaining two terms, I can take z common so that I will get y minus x in the bracket. So these two terms are giving me the formula and the remaining two terms are giving me y minus x. And you can see that from these two terms I can take y minus x common. So here at this position we will get y minus x common and inside bracket x plus y plus z will remain. Similarly to minimize this term I will consider this 
z square minus y square separately and and to solve this term i'll consider z square minus y square separately and i will make this as z minus y into z plus y and from the remaining two terms i can take x common and inside bracket we can get z minus y now again from these two terms we can say that z minus y is common so i'll take z minus y outside and in the bracket we will get x plus y plus z once again so hence we will get 1 x y z 0 y minus x 0 z minus y now if you will see the second column and third column then we can take y minus x common from the second column and z minus y common from the third column so we will get 6 times y minus x z minus y outside and in the determinant we will get 1 x x square minus y z 0 1 x plus y plus z 0 1 x plus y plus z and now if you'll see the determinant then the column c2 and c3 are equal and by using the properties of determinant we can say that the determinant is equal to 0 since two columns are identical and hence here we'll get the value as 0 so since we are getting the jacobian at 0 we can definitely say that there is relationship between u v and w now let's find out the relationship between u v and w so now here u is given as x plus y plus z v is given as x square plus y square plus z square and w is given as x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz now if i want to find out the relationship between u v and w i need to perform some algebraic operations and some simplification in algebra so here if you see the w then I can write one formula for this x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz and the formula is x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. So this is the formula from algebra. Now if you see this part that is x plus y plus z so this part is given as u so i can replace this part by u next this x square plus y square plus z square is v so i can replace that part by v and similarly i can take minus sign outside in the bracket i'll get xy plus yz plus zx now we got u and v at first two places but still the last term is in terms of x, y, z and we have to convert it in terms of u and v. So to convert it, I will use one more algebraic equation and that equation is nothing but the square of x plus y plus z. Now if we will find the square of x plus y plus z, then we will get x square plus y square plus z square plus 2zx plus 2xy plus 2yz now if you see here then this x square plus y square plus z square and from here i can take two outside so i'll get xy plus yz plus zx in the bracket now if you see this quantity then it is exactly similar to the quantity or the term in our problem so i'll make this as equation number one and i will try to find out the value of this term and i'll substitute this value in the equation number one so for that reason if you'll see 
this x plus y plus z is nothing but u so this is nothing but u square equal to this is nothing but your v so v plus 2 times xy plus yz plus zx and we want the value of xy plus yz plus zx so I'll transfer remaining terms on the left hand side so here we'll get u square minus v upon 2 as xy plus yz plus zx and I'll give this as equation number 2. Now let's substitute the value of equation number 2 in equation number 1 and hence we will get w as u into v minus u square minus v upon 2 and if you'll simplify this then we'll get u as it is here we'll get 2v minus u square plus v so that will become 3v minus u square upon 2 and this is the relationship between u, v and w. Thank you.